optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Freeze all the workers? Why? So a gang of powdered toffs can carry on living in Byzantium? You call that a plan? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all, toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is, if we're gonna hijack a colony ship, count me in. Yes, excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain for a raise. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once 
Once you've skipped the hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Certainly. How can I help? Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice. Possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. If you don't, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Your signal made it through. We've pinpointed Dr. Wells's orbital lab. Excellent work. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Transmissions are so impersonal. I'd like to meet you face to face. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. 
Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diet. Can we chat? You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Bullshit. If UDL was sending more folks, they'd have told us. I get you. This is the dullest job I've ever had. But order's set to stand here, so here I am. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck.
Got your paperwork squared away? Sweetbucker, error. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Got nimble fingers, Captain.
much worse than drooling on your pillow in front of a bunch of strangers. Records indicate you have already been identified as non-standard personnel. State your purpose. Error. Binary detected. Binary has been deprecated since the invention of Anticleo's patented trippinary language. Trippinary. More bits for your bits. We appreciate your cooperation. Have a pleasant day. Initiating greetings protocol. onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system. What could go wrong? Glad to have no olfactory system. Oh, oh gosh. I'm going to be sick. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him.
Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Did we move? I hardly felt a thing. Was that an attempt at humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. 